What's good, folks? Once again, it's your boy, Sha Fitness underscore Customs on Instagram, giving you another video review and comparison of the Air Jordan 4. So it's going to be the Air Jordan 4 from, that released 2016 this year, and then I'm going to bring in the um, Air Jordan 4s from 2012, White Cement. One with the Nike Air, one with the Jordan Jumpman. So I'm going to show you all the differences in quality and everything else. All right, here we go. So, of course, instantly, as you see already, this 2016 pair has the Nike Air on the back. So I'm saying? Nike Air, killing it. They playing on us OG heads that grew up with these back in the, in the old days. So, you know, somebody like me had to pick them up because of that alone. But, um... So of course you got that Nike Air, got the Nike Air on the bottom, you know what I'm saying? Got that, got the little, also got the little, uh, the little hang tag right here, you know? The Air Jumpman and all that, pretty dope as always, you know? So I'm gonna bring in other ones. It just gives you, lets you get a good look at that leather. They did a good job on the leather for these. Really, really nice and soft. I'm always, I like quality, so something like this, you can see the difference automatically. It's nice and soft. Nice and soft leather. Got a slight tumbled look to it. See that on the toe? It's a little distressed leather. Look a little tumbled slightly. Nice and soft. I think they did a good job of quality with these in comparison to the 2012, but like I said, I'm going to bring those out for you right now so you can see that too. All right. Boom. Nike Air everywhere. All right. So, boom. Here we go. First thing. Oh, switch it. Let's look at the back first. Look at the backs, right? So, look at the back here. As you can see, the 2012 version, the gray is darker than the Nike Air version. Way darker, a couple shades darker. The speckle on the Nike Air ones are way more, it's way more speckle than it is on the 2012 version. 2016, they just, they just went in. They did a good job with that alone, you know? The speckle, now watch the leather. Watch the leather comparison now. This leather is hard. It's a hard leather. It's really hard, not much flex in it. This leather now, softer. Way softer. You can even see the tumble, the tumble texture on there. See that? I'm gonna bring it nice and close so you can see it. Nice and soft, look at that. See that, see how it flexes? Just don't do that. This is more plastic, synthetic fake leather type see that barely all right another thing I want to show y'all difference in the toe box the toe box area the leather is really nice again really nice try to get close for y'all so you can see it see a big difference also right here in the cage the one on the right has six six boxes before it hit the first lace. This one goes five. So they made it shorter on the 2016 version. Same thing with the tongue. The tongue on the 2016 version is shorter. This tongue is shorter. And it's the same size, like we have 13. Same, same uh, size shoe. But one is shorter than the other. See what I'm saying? I want y'all to see those differences, you know? Another thing you can tell too, like I said, this tongue is higher even if I you know curl it up like the other one still I was looking I was like wait a minute why these tongues are so this tongue is higher than this one and it's probably just the way they made it you know and then when I counted these boxes right here on the cage I could see the difference it's five and this one has six and I think these boxes are a little bit tighter too than these boxes as far as the, uh, the width and the height so and you can see it looks a little bit narrower too this one looks a little bit narrower. This one looks a little bit wider. So they said they did some different things when it came to the quality. But um, that's one of the biggest things I noticed 
uh, on the quality part of it. But like I said, this leather is way nicer on the 2016 than the 2012. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, folks. Just wanted to let y'all see that. And, um, yeah, once again, subscribe, hit that like button, subscribe to my YouTube page, hit that like button, and, um, yeah, follow me on Instagram, Shop Fitness.